एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर टेन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर द डोर ऑफ एन एलमीरा इज सिक्स फीट हाई वन पॉइंट फाइव फीट वाइड एंड वेज एट के जी द डोर इज सपोर्टेड बाई टू हिंजेस सिचुएटेड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन फीट फ्रॉम द इंड इफ द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्स इज एक्सर्टेड बाई द हिंजेस ऑन द डोर आर इक्वल फाइंड दिस मैग्नीट्यूड लेट एस फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ द डोर ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑफ एम जी इज एक्टिंग ऑन द सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ द डोर both the hinges will apply some force on the door which can be resolved into horizontal and vertical components if we look about the upper hinge the direction of the torque due to gravity is clockwise or into the plane now the torque due to horizontal component of the force at the lower hinge must balance this torque and hence the direction of the horizontal component of the force at the lower hinge must be towards right let the magnitude of this force be fx Since net force on the door in horizontal direction is zero, the horizontal component of the force at the upper hinge must be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to this force. As per the question, the magnitudes of the forces exerted by the hinges are equal, and we have seen that their horizontal components are equal. Therefore, their vertical components must also be equal. Let the vertical component of the forces by each of the hinges on the door be F Y. Since the door is in rotational as well as translational equilibrium, net torque about all points and net force in all directions must be equal to zero. Balancing the forces in vertical direction, we get two F Y is equal to m G, which implies F Y is equal to m G by two. Putting G is equal to ten meter per second square, we get F Y is equal to forty newtons. Now let us balance the torque about the upper hinge. Since the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the horizontal component of the force by lower hinge is at a distance of four feet from the upper hinge, its torque about the upper hinge is F X into four in anti-clockwise or out of the plane direction. The line of action of the vertical component of the force at hinge is passing through the upper hinge. Therefore, the torque due to this force is zero. Finally, the line of action of gravitational force on the center of mass of the rod is at a perpendicular distance of 0.75 feet from the hinge. Therefore, the torque due to gravity about this point is mg into 0.75 in clockwise direction or into the plane. As both the torques cancel each other out, Fx into 4 must be equal to 8 into 10 into 0.75, or Fx is equal to 60 by 4, that is 15 newtons. Now net force at each of the hinges is resultant of these two forces that is root under fx square plus fy square putting the values we get root under 1600 plus 225 that is 42.7 newtons which when rounded to two significant figures become 43 newtons this is our answer in order to request solution to any question from hc verma book post the question number and chapter number in comments below like and share the video to help other students find us Subscribe the channel like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for latest updates thank you for watching